Alright guys, welcome to part 2, how to adjust bulb turns. Uh, this portion of this video, actually, you don't really have to do this when you're doing the bulb turns. But since I'm replacing the uh, power steering pump, I'm doing this. So, Alright, so I'm just uh, taking the slack off the tensioner there and uh, removing the serpentine belt. But before you remove the serpentine belt, guys, uh, make sure you know the orientation of how... Uh, how it was so then you can put it back together in the end all right so I'm gonna speed up the video here guys so that's how you remove the uh, the belt and I'm just putting that belt aside there so just so I can have a, a, a room for that uh, power steering pump Alright, so we're gonna have to uh, undo the clamps for the hoser and those two 10 mil bolts for the uh, high side power steering hose. Alright, so if you have a offset wrench just like what I have in my hands there, you can use that to un loosen the 12 mil bolts in the bottom. That's one bolt. There's also one there on the uh, on the back, just there. There you go, guys. All right, guys. So there's uh, just two bolts. So one there and one on the bottom. Now I'm gonna remove the hose and just before you remove the hose make sure you have some rags uh, to catch the oil spill that's gonna spill out obviously when you remove the hose so that's what I'm doing there right now. You don't want to get that on the pulley or on the belt because that's gonna wreck your belt. Okay guys. Alright guys, so I also have a spark plug there to plug the uh, hose and then put the clamps on the plug and I also have like that cover for that part of the uh, pump there. There you go, it's a plug actually, sorry. Alright guys, so two bolts. Alright, so those two 10 mil bolts are out for the high pressure side hose. Put some cap over that so it doesn't leak out all over the place, guys. Alright, if you don't have any cap, make sure you just put a rag over a rag over it. So that pump is out, guys. So I have a clear access of of the timing cover actually not really because there's one bolt that you have to remove for the timing cover it's actually behind the serpentine belt tensioner so you're gonna have to uh, turn the tensioner in order for you to get that bolt. by the way guys so I'm removing the uh, coils here with a 7 mil uh, hex socket all right so I'm undoing all three bolts and we're gonna start removing the harnesses 
also pretty sweet. Alright guys, so undo the harness, the connector oh, for the foils, <laughs> and then Okay naman yung ilang, no? Mahal ko lang. Oh yeah, ang liwanag niya eh. Ano yun? 80 bucks yung isa. Well, unfortunately, I can't do that foil, so I may have to remove that reservoir. Alright, so... I'm undoing the harness right now, so I'll undo those two clips and... Alright, yeah, we're gonna have to uh, remove that reservoir to get that coil out, guys. It's a 10 mil, just one, just one bolt, it's a 10 mil bolt, there you go. There you go, guys, and you can pull that out of the way, and so, so I can remove the, uh, well back there you go all right guys so just trying to move that um, harness out of the way in order for me to get that bulb cover out Okay guys, I have a blow gun there, I'm just blowing the surrounding area of the bulb cover just before I will remove them later on. Uh, I'll skip this and we're gonna do the uh, the back uh, bulb cover first. Alright. Okay, so here you go guys. Uh, this part, I'm showing you guys that that's a ground wire that you have to undo. It has a 10 mil bolt. This is the back uh, bulb cover, guys. So uh, we're gonna remove the bolts for that coil pack. That's one, that's two, and that's three right there. All right, guys. Okay, I'm also pointing at the bracket. That's for the high pressure pressure side uh, power steering pump you're gonna have to remove that as well guys all right once again so that's one coil that's second coil that's third coil there is a bolt there for the harness that you have to remove there you go and that hose clamp, you're gonna have to remove that hose there. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna speed things up around here. So I'm unbolting the uh, coil plug. All right. Okay guys, so for the harness, uh, we're gonna remove the, the two bolts that I sh told you earlier and we're also discon disconnecting the injector connectors and and doing the clips. There you go guys. There you go, so I'm undoing the ground there. ground and the bracket there you go so I 
get rid of that bracket there. So now I have room to pull that uh, valve cover out until I get that harness clip out for the injector. So that's one, two. Three coil packs out. Alright, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm undoing the clip of the uh, injector harness using a uh, mini angle pliers. Undo that, and there you go. I should have enough room or space for me to undo, I mean, remove the ball cover. One, two, that's two bolts. What the hell? All right, guys, so there's uh, five bolts to uh, loose looking for this uh, ball cover um, right here again I'm blowing the surrounding area of the ball cover before removing it Alright guys, so all five bolts are loose. Uh, we're ready to pop that bolt cover out using a small pry bar. There you go guys. Alright, it's almost ready to come out. And work your way out with those harnesses guys. There you go. It's out. Alright, so I'm just gonna cover that part there just so I don't get any debris to go in there while, while I'm doing other stuff. Alright guys, so this is the front cover which we will be removing in this portion of the video. So similar uh, the one we just removed it's gonna be five bolts to uh, loosen Okay guys, so this is the front uh, ball cover, uh, practically the same as the back, 5 bolts. Move that harness out of the way and pop it out. Alright guys.
Okay guys, the valve cover is out. We are ready to do valve adjustment, but it will be in the part 3 of the video. Uh, we'll show you guys how to adjust it. And this part of the video is done. Thanks for watching guys. Like and subscribe if you like the video.